Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel, Dev Chanel's 48's World. And this is what we're doing today. We're spinning off. We're doing a marathon of videos coming straight from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So buckle your seat, take the flight, and we're going to go into Never Never Land. Okay, I'm just saying. Because <laughs> these women are out here, especially Kenya Moore. She's definitely staying in the social media realm. She's trending and trending and trending. And why not take part of her trending and give my spin on some of her antics out there and how she's displaying herself. Okay, we're going to, um, well, first of all, I want to thank you all for coming back to the channel and blessing me with so many new subscriberships so i'm like thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay and um if you don't know where you're at of course you should know already but if you don't know you're at dev chanel's 40s world and i am dev chanel okay so I was just sitting around with my family, chilling and everything, and we got to talking about what's trending there on social media. I said, well, I can't talk to y'all too much because I had to go to my YouTube family and put my spin on it, break some tea, and sit down and talk with them about what's going on out there and who's trending in today's um, social media streets, okay? And none other than Kenya Moore. She's always out there. She's always staying relevant in people people's minds and in their eyes okay she's ha she has to stay relevant so she has to put things out there because just getting a taste of her for Sundays uh evenings for an hour or maybe 30 minutes however long you give to watch the show Real Housewives of Atlanta is not enough she got to stay out there and in our minds and on our voices or in our voices so that we can talk about her okay good or bad indifferent she don't care just long as she's out there staying relevant somebody saying something about her okay but over here on my platform everything i talk about when it comes to celebrity gossip entertainment news it's all alleged unless these people have come out on some type of platform and express how they feel about a particular situation that they're going through then that's right from the horse's mouth as my mom used to say okay but all this stuff over here is just entertainment it's just me inviting you over to the house and we sit down we kick you about it we try to find some reasoning about it and then we make our own opinions and we go on about our business it's not that serious okay because i'm sure they're looking at content creators uh, saying oops they got that wrong i think they look stupid or this that and a third or however they want to view content creators and some of them i think they make troll accounts and come on our platforms and try to dog us out and whatnot but it doesn't really matter you know what i'm saying those who want to make content gonna continue to make content such as myself okay once i stop getting paid for it i'm out like like a light bulb you know what i'm saying I'm gone yonder somewhere else trying to make some money on something, okay? Because that's what you have to do. You have to get out there and make several revenue streams for yourself. Me, I like to give a gab. I love talking. You know what I'm saying? So why not make money off of it if you can, if you dare to, okay? But like I said, it's a family affair over here. We get down. We talk about different subject matters that's trending out there. Or, you know, if anybody want to just throw a comment out there and it's not necessarily about the subject matter, but it's about another entertainer, cool. Or someone else in the entertainment um, platform or out there trending in social media that I didn't cover, let me know. I'll look it up. If it's something I think I want to cover that I have something that I can say about it, positive, negative, it don't matter you know what i'm saying let me know and i'll check i'll see what i can do for you but other than that let's get on to celebrity insider we had a correspondent over there by the name of dylan fisher he's breaking out a salacious story of uh gossip entertainment news uh for the people he worked for which is celebrity insider okay his name is dylan fisher and he wrote a he wrote up an article on kenya moore yes kenya moore staying on everybody's minds everybody's uh hearts everybody's uh social media feed and she's in just about everybody's commentary these days from the small uh bloggers to the ultimate tip top bloggers out there okay that everybody will recognize like people magazine like uh madam what's it madame Mior, M Minor, uh celebrity insider 
um, Lower B. Scott, Tamara Tattles, hmm, and a few others, okay? Can't really think of them at this moment, at this time, but you know, I always try to pay homage. I always try to give credit where I have taken somebody's uh, information or article they read up, and I give them their just due, okay? It's not mine, but I damn sure will put my spin on it, okay? And again, thank you for coming to Dale Chanel's 40 Square, and please remember to subscribe, 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 and share and like my videos. But then again, as you're sharing and like my sharing and liking my videos, please subscribe okay helps me out but anyway his article of his title uh, or the title of his article I'm sorry is King Moore brings up slavery while going after Eva Marcel Real Housewives of Atlanta fans feel the drama is going to a new low how low can you go mm. how low can you go mm. how much can you pay me how much can you pay me? That's what you should be asking these reality superstars or stars or however they want to portray themselves out here. Okay? However they look at themselves. They're up for sale. They will bring the drama. Good, bad, or indifferent. Slow, hard, or just normal. Okay? They don't care. However much you pay them. They solidified in a contractual deal, and they will bring it, okay? And that's just how it is over there at Bravo Entertainment, okay? True entertainment. That's what they pay their people to do, and their people know that they have to deliver. So, hey, Kay Moore is better up, better up, better up, and she's hitting nothing but home runs out the park, honey. She don't care who you are. That's why I said, Candy Girl, and who else? Cynthia Bailey. Y'all better watch out. Y'all don't know what y'all done brought back into fruition. Y'all think y'all done brought back a real true friend, but I don't know, honey. Because at the um, ending of you all's taping, and they were just letting us know some of the things that's going to be coming up for season 12 that we weren't privy of at that time. Honey, Kenya, when she was on Nene like it wasn't nobody's business, she said it wasn't nobody on Nene's team. She had Eve on her team. She had Marla on her team. Portia on her team, and of course we knew Cynthia and King, uh, Candy was on her team, but lo and behold, who is she striking at now? Eva Marcel, so how Eva gonna be on her side? Now I'm just saying, this is what she told us. Yes, she did, came out of her own mouth when she was over there trying to throw sticks and stones at Nene when she was at Sally's Beauty Salon uh, launching her products with them. You know, out there in Buckhead somewhere in Atlanta, GA. Yes. Yes, honey. She was telling TMZ, one of their correspondents here in Atlanta, or maybe they flew all the way from California to catch Kenya Moore in action in Atlanta, Georgia, launching her uh, Kenya Moore products, okay? But yes, she was outside of Sally Beauty Salon saying, Nene ain't got no friend. Nene's so worried. She's so bothered. She just come unglued every time I'm around. That's what Kenya said. Yes, she did. But now look. Eva ain't on her side. They battling. And you know her and Nene were battling. So, Kenya, who do you have on your side, baby? But she don't care. Kenya bought that dollar. She bought that revenue. She bought that coin, okay? She don't care who she had to knock down, push out the way, slam dunk, just so she can get to her prize. Solidifying herself as the head HBIC. She would do it. She would do it to Candy. She would do it to Portia. She would do it to Cynthia. Anybody get in her way, she's going to disintegrate them, okay? Because she's looking at the prize. She got her eyes on the prize. And that's being the top dog up on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. My, my word, just keep watching her be in action. We're going to see. Well, Kenya, uh, not Kenya, but Candy and Cynthia, we'll see. Because see, Nene already know about her. And Eva is just trying to find out about her, okay? So it just is what it is. But going back to the article that was wrote up it says real housewives of atlanta returned with a bang yes it did bang for the book all right many fights and too many shades to count one of the most memorable feuds involved kenya moore and her co-star eva marcel fans assumed that the two ladies would get along because they are both models who recently gave birth kenya welcomed daughter brooklyn and eva had a son named maverick okay However, that is not the case. 
the ladies have been going at it over skin color, hair, texture, and now a conversation about slavery is taking place. Now, who would figure? You would think Kenya had had it all, but girl, she going back in the deep roots, the real roots, roots. You know, like roots. You remember Kuta Kente and all that kind of stuff? She taking Eva all the way back for a black history lesson. And that's my pun intended. That wasn't in this man's article, okay? But we're going to go on back to this man's article. He's saying in a new interview, Kenya gets an honest and raw, she gets honest and raw about evil, calling her a nappy head on the popular Bravo show. Now, you know, we ain't used to nobody calling us no nappy head unless our, it's our parents and mostly our mothers telling us to get on in this house, take a bath, or come get your clothes on, take a bath because we got to go, or just bring your sorry behind a bone in here. They only the ones have real rights to call us nappy head, you know, our parents, but not nobody that's on our level or below or above. It doesn't matter. They don't have no right. They're, they're not family. They're not doing all that. So can you got upset about it, all right? But going back to the article, it says, Mark Daly, soon-to-be ex-wife, had this to say. Later in life, mom, is a fact, okay? What I didn't like that she said is over the hill. Now, can you play on words, sticks and stones? Why are you even concerned about what Eva is saying and calling you? You know you can come and get them ratings up. You know you got yourself together. Why even go with Eva and talking about over the hill, having a baby late in life? You know, that's what you should say. Well, hey, Lisa had a baby, girl. Most women can't have one, but I got one. So you're correct on each fact, but what are you trying to say? Is that a sly, you know, uh, condescending statement or what? What's going on, girl? But she didn't handle it that way. Going back to the article, she felt that it was an insult. The same way she insults me about calling me nappy-headed. The same way she insults me by saying, I don't know the color of her eyes. It's like, why are you doing all of that? This is what Kenya's saying. I've never said anything to you nasty. Really, Kenya? You ain't never said anything even nasty. I find that hard to believe. Because everybody on this show, you done said something slick and sly about them. Except I can't know. I don't really know if you said anything about Candy. But every last one of them women that's focusing right there on the screen. Hmm. And it's not a family affair with them, okay? You said something foul-mouthed about them, okay? And then tried to double back and be like, girl, you know I was just kidding. You know I ain't mean it that way. Just playing that. But like they say, you can be slick, slick shading somebody and still be remembering and viewing it as that's what you meant. You just did it in a joking way, okay? But going back to the article, it says, um... It's, okay, I've never said anything to you, Nass, and this is all coming from the fact that you didn't want to bring your kids around me because of issues you had made up in your mind about me. So now you're just insulting my character as a mom, and that's a low blow. But no, Kenya, that was Cynthia who said that your energy was bad. Eva just said she ain't got time for your antics, okay? She didn't want to take the chance, I guess, for you saying something stupid that she would probably have to have words with you and her kids may overhear and they may get to the understanding that their mother is mad and fussing with somebody and probably going to get to fight. So she just wanted to avoid all that, said, no, nah, let my kids be what they were and just move on. Oh, hell, can she could have just didn't even want to. But hell, she bought a baby with her. The baby was in the stomach, of course. So technically, she did bring a baby to your event. It just wasn't out where everybody could see and play with it and cool over it and all that kind of stuff. But she probably didn't feel like she wanted to be around her children. She probably was like, ugh, I'm glad they're at school. Or, ugh, I just needed a break from them because they be asking, Mommy, 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 can I do this? Can I do that? Mommy, can we do this? And she probably just didn't want to be bothered, okay? It wasn't a really big deal. Y'all just needed some taping time. Y'all already had the event covered. Y'all just needed to say lines here and there. Uh, embellish a little bit if you had to, ad lib if you needed to, and keep it moving. But Kenya, you, you took it to another whole level because you like drama. You love to in in oh we call it heighten up the drama so you can come out smelling like a rose. Like okay, I did what I had to do. I follow suit. I uh put that uh, ball in the basket, scored a goal, and let's keep moving. 
But you just want to, like, constantly bring up these children. Well, children ain't got no, no business being in this. Forget the children. Forget all of that. Just say, she ain't got a slick mouth like you do, and you want to shut her down. Just like Nene got a slick mouth like you do, and you want to shut her down. Pick and choose your battles. But leave the kids out of it. Ain't got really nothing to do with the kids, okay? Kids don't really know you. Okay, unless they overhear their parents talking about you, then they will form an opinion by what their parents are expressing. But we just going to make like Eva just be chilling at home. She probably talking to her husband. When she see kids coming, she just shut her mouth, okay? So we're just going to leave it like that. But getting back to the article, it said, The former beauty queen added, That's below the belt. And there is no way you can explain your way out of that. I think Eva has to do some real soul searching and try to figure out where that comes from. You don't get to call a brown skinned girl nappy headed. Now who said that? Can you, yeah, everybody can call anybody any kind of names if they want to. That don't mean you have to answer to it, baby. They called us. What? Okay, Eggers all the time. And then we call our own selves Eggers. But we feel better when we call it when our own race is doing it to us or whatnot. You know, we feel it's cool. We take uh, lemons that was lemon and make it lemonade, make it jokeable. But when somebody of an opposite color call it, oh, we got a problem with that, okay? But anybody can be an Igger in my situation. How I view things. I don't care what race you are. If you're acting like that mentality, you can be one. You can be an Asian one. You can be a Caucasian one. You can be a, a Native American one. If you're acting like that, then, you know, we got to call a spade a spade. But for you to say a light skin can't call a brown skin any kind of name, that's not true. They probably do it in front of your face if not behind your back. Just like any other race would do the same thing too, can you? Let people speak their mind. And then you handle them accordingly. But like they said if it's not you you don't need to recognize it okay silence is very much golden and very powerful tool to use but going back to kenya and what she was expressing or i'm sorry what uh dylan was expressing in his article about kenya um he said she was mad about a light skin calling the dark skin nappy headed out of all the things that we have been t excuse me been told you know Cotton picking, nappy headed, darky, all of that stuff you don't get to call me. That's being a light skinned girl uh, with light eyes and straight hair. Now, I don't know what Kenya was raised or whatnot, but I mean, has it been some battles between people who we generalized used to say back in the day before we got political with our own textures of hair and whatnot and got more educated? We did used to call them real tight coils, naps, naps, naps. Yes, they used to be called naps before they were called real uh, tight curls or coils that's what we used to call them back in the 60s and 70s they were naps okay so and that that could have came from some darkie calling a darkie or some light person calling a darkie we always had that banter going back and forth because half of it was a little jealousy I mean wouldn't I know I was plenty of time wishing I had some of my girlfriend's hair that had Caucasian in them I meaning they had a Caucasian father or mother and they had uh I called it good hair. I ain't going to lie. And people come at me and be saying, that's not true. Everybody got who? Mm, okay. Everybody got issues with their hair in any culture or any race. I hear it, you know, because I'm very diversified, diversified. And I have a diversified type of uh, employment area where I work with different uh, people from different backgrounds, different races, different ethnicities or ethnicity. Uh, however, it's something that they don't like about their hair. It's either too straight, too greasy, uh, don't have no bounce to it, not no fullness, or we have ours is too coarse, and we cover, uh, combing our sludges of our hair because we're not, you know, combing it right or treating it right. I mean, everybody do, but for Kenya to sit up there and say, oh, no, you can't call me that because she's lighter. Yes, yeah, she can. If it come out of her mouth, she can say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's what you answer to and how you respond to what somebody is saying about you that sets that tone. But if you treat it like, okay, you call me naphead, okay. 
Hmm, what can I pick on your body? You flat-footed. You know what I'm saying? Just go tit for tat because that's all y'all doing. You're just trying to uh, make another person feel bad about their self-esteem and their worth. So it, those are apples and oranges and lemons and grapes in my book. Okay. But going back to the article. Okay. It says a few people say Eva has the right to speak her mind, just like I said. But many are calling her out for her inappropriate comments. Now, that's why I was always saying when you have these reality shows or you're on a sitcom or whatnot or whatnot, are you truly friends with your colleagues that you're working with? Because then you should have some decorum about yourself and say, you know, I'm a brain drama, but I'm not going to mess with Kenya because I like Kenya. I'm not going to mess with Nene in an inappropriate way and uh, make fun of some flaws that she holds sacred about herself that she don't she's not really comfortable with. But since I know that truth about her, I'm not going to even go there, even when I'm pretty much mad at her for whatever reason. I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to hit below that belt that I know that's something that she's uh, insecure about. That'll never come out of my mouth. Okay, I'll take it to the grave before I would devote some stuff like that and put it on TV and be joking about it and, and cackling it and, and, you know, laughing about it and stuff. That's something I wouldn't do. But since these women, they want to act like they're friends, but yet they do all this demeaning type stuff to bring drama. They trying to tell each other down on camera. Okay. Uh, point and in, in, in point reference Nene. She wants to say these are her co-workers. They're not her friends. All of them are snakes, pretty much. This, that, and the third. They don't know her. She don't really know too much about them, but what they do on the show. But then she wants to form this sisterhood. Now, the hypocrisy in that is just overwhelming. It just blows my mind. I'm like, the two don't even match, okay? The two don't even match what you're talking about, Nene. You can't have a sisterhood with somebody you always bringing down or you act like you don't know them or don't want to be filming with them or don't want to talk to them on a regular basis. That just don't come off is genuine that's why i said you know a lot of people get involved with you don't know them you don't know this why are you talking about them why well you know do you know them too because then you really shouldn't be understanding or trying to concentrate on what commentary people are doing on your faith because you know it's already not true so don't look at bloggers don't look at their uh commentary if it's gonna make you that upset because you know you can't tell me nothing about my friend you know what i'm saying i thing i'm not gonna let you do is put your hands on them, okay? Unless it's a fair fight, they started it, and you finna end it, or, or however it's gonna go, just as long as it's a one on one thing. But you're not gonna double team, you're not gonna jump her, and this, that, and the third. But I don't care what you say, because I know that's not that person, so I'm not gonna get too involved in making my comments, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, on other people platforms I'm going to attack the bloggers on camera While I'm interviewing with TMZ I'm not going to do that Because I already know I know that person genuinely They don't act like that But I'm not finna blow their high Their cover Or what they're trying to do To get their money On these reality TV shows I'm just let it go Let have And you know We all going to be laughing to the bank, all right? Or if they want to give me free gifts or whatnot because I'm a good friend, I'm a lawyer friend or whatever, yes, I would take them, <laughs> okay? But I'm not going to sell you out. But that's just, you know, what I had to say about, you know, people always getting on bloggers or content creators, you know. Just take it for entertainment. Just like we're just having a conversation. If I'm over your house and we may look at a movie together. And then I may make, make my opinions on this person. I'm not judging them. Uh, thinking that this is the life they really do live. I'm only going on what I see. That's just like when you sitting out there. Nene cutting the food. She ain't, being, she ain't being taped or anything. She just out there minding her own business. And you know people of a certain age come up to her want to tell her how they appreciate her how they love her on the show and this that thing she ain't got no time for them. she ain't got a hey hello or let me take a quick pit with you or let me give you a little autograph or here you know and continue to watch continue to making me great so i can keep coming to the bank and keep coming to you all on tv when you don't have that type of love then yeah i got a problem with that because technically we are paying your way to stay where you are if we chose not to look at bravo true entertainment and no facets how long do you think they're gonna stay on air how long do you think you're gonna be relevant on that show if they ain't bringing in no revenue how they gonna pay you okay so just putting that out there but uh ending up um 
Dylan is asking people that read his commentary, uh, what are your thoughts on this fight that uh, King Moore is trying to have with Eva Marcel? She's trying to <laughs> make it now a slavery play on words or what? The massa or whatever back in slavery time, uh, the history of slavery and, and how Caucasian people used to treat black people, you know, she's trying to bring up that whole mentality. I'm like, no, Kenya, no, I'm not seeing the connection. Not really. I'm really not. So I don't know where you're going with it, but if you want to say, you know, Eva don't hear below the belt. No, I think you got mad pretty much, and we just needed to stay there. Because just because Eva got good hair, and she married a man that got good hair, the problem is plausible that her children are going to come out with nicely grade of hair, okay? Because I don't want to get people on me and talk about, when everybody have a good grade of hair? Yes, they do. Okay, yes, they do. All right. Till we get old and some of us go bald or whatnot for whatever reason, medical reasons or whatever. Some people have tight decor hair. Myself, I have the 4C hair. Does it get on my nerve? Yes. Do I like to comment? No. Okay? That's why I always have it. Either coiled up, braided up, not braided up, but uh, twisted up or plaited up, okay? Because uh, I can't take it, okay? But my hair is, you know, very thick. It's like in the biblical term, uh, hair like wool, okay? It's soft on the top, but it, it you know, it, ooh, child, trying to, ooh, mm -mm, we ain't even gonna go there. But that's all I have for this um, particular uh, article or review on Kenya Moore fighting with Eva Marcel still out there on the streets. Like, Eva, give a care, a care in the world. She don't care. You know what I'm saying? You can talk about it all you want to, but I think Kenya just want to poke the bear. And hopefully the bear will poke back so they can have a rivalry of constant negative feedback in in um, the press so people can come over and look at that show. Now, I said, Kenya ain't no fool. And she ain't strange to bring in. She ain't no stranger to bring in drama. Now, whether you agree with the drama that she brings on a daily basis or on Sunday when we're watching an episode that she taped through a season we're reviewing uh, or not, she gonna bring the drama whether you like it or not. However, she brings it, okay? Because she signed on that contract because she wants more money than what they're probably paying her. Because I know she took a pay cut. I don't care what everybody else come over here and try to tell me. Uh -uh. And when you're trying to get back, sometimes you have to start back at the bottom to rise on back up to that top. Okay? She's going to be like cream just floats on up. <laughs> okay? Eventually, it will float up. All right? So, that's all I had for this particular video that was brought out by Dylan Fisher over there at um, Celebrity Insider. And his article was titled, Kenya Moore Brings Up Slavery While Going After Evil Marcel, which is the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And fans feel the drama is going below the bill. And for me just saying, I don't think it's below the bill because everything is like all fair love and war. However you want to put it out there. And however it ends, it ends that way. Either way, people are going to talk about it, okay? And that's what relevancy is all about. Staying in people's mouths. Staying on people's brains to continue watching the drama. All right? That's all it is, people. Entertainment. And what we do as con content creators is entertainment. Voicing our opinions on something we saw. That's it. Okay? So, with that said, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Basically, share my videos, okay? And continue to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And you know I like hearing from you. I love it when you watch my videos from beginning to the end, okay? So, thank you for doing that as well. And I must have, I must say that um, I didn't get a chance to put a lot of polling type of questions out there for you all to um partake of and put your opinions down on paper and vote uh, because I had a lot of medical appointments that I had to attend to myself and we'll just say we working through them all honey we were working through it all okay so uh I didn't get a chance to really focus on um, that particular material that I usually give y'all on a weekly basis. So what we're going to do is run it on this whole week, uh, which is the Christmas holiday season. And we'll have another polling instead of having it um, on Saturday. Well, 
what is that 24 instead of having it tomorrow we're gonna run it on until the 29th yeah 29th so hopefully we'll have a lot to discuss over the holidays while y'all enjoying yourselves y'all get to watch my videos other content creator videos and just get to interact throughout the holiday season okay because sometimes it does get boring you want everybody to go home uh that are staying with you through the holidays or they come in for that one big holiday which is the holiday itself on christmas and you want them to get in their car and drive away because they don't love a mess in your house and you got to clean it up and nobody's there to help you clean it up and you just feeling some kind of way <laughs> So while you washing all them dishes and cleaning up your house, you can just put me on your tube and then maybe I'll make you laugh so you can continue to clean your house and get it back in order from where it was prior to the holidays coming. Okay, but other than that, y'all be blessed. I will see y'all next video and take care of yourselves and be safe during these holiday seasons. Okay, bye-bye.